So when we think of students, we might not think of athletes. But one thing I've learned over the years is that if you want to perform well, it's better to think of yourself as an athlete. Studying is like a race and not a sprint, as in you need to perform at your best in multiple instances in a year. And to keep up this grueling student lifestyle, it is good to learn from our fellow top performers, athletes. So hi, I'm Charlotte Frasa, a second year PhD student in computational neuroscience at the Donders Institute in the Netherlands. And I read a book this week called Peak Performance, How to Elevate Your Game. And I loved some of the lessons that they taught me in this book and I want to share them with you today. So let's get right into it. So the first lesson they talked about is about stress plus rest equals growth. And I really like this concept. I think as students we have the stress part down, but the problem is usually the rest part for a lot of us. So I think that usually when people think of rest, they think of chilling in front of the TV and just binge watching a lot of movies or just lying down on your bed. But actually in the book he talks a lot about active rest for athletes. And active rest is not this idea that you just lie down to rest, but that you do small things that really activate you in some way that are not too strenuous. So for example, I think when I think of rest, of reading a book or seeing friends or being out in nature, and these are things where you're actually not fully resting, but which kind of distract you from studying. And I think this rest plus stress equals growth is a really good formula to optimize for peak performance. So the next thing he talks about is purposely designing your day for peak performance. And for example, athletes, they really follow strict training regimens or training schedules. And I think as students, we can kind of learn from that. So for example, waking up at the same time every day, closing off your day at the same time, and also scheduling or chunking periods of peak performance throughout the week. And I would also here schedule in resting days such that you can really optimize your stress and your rest. The third thing he talks about is consistency is key. So instead of thinking of, I want to achieve this in one week, it's better to think about how you are gonna perform every day. So for example, you would every day work for two hours on a really difficult topic. And I think by being consistent in this manner, we can achieve way bigger outputs than when we really put emphasis on trying to finish one thing in one day. The fourth thing he talks about is the power of meditation and the mind-body connection. And I find this really important in Dr. Huberman's in his podcast. He also talks a lot about this, about the brain-body connection. And we sometimes neglect our body, especially when we try to study really hard, but it's good to keep your body healthy and also your mind through meditation, for example. And by applying this, we can actually achieve better studying results than just fully studying for an entire day. So something that I adopted, which I heard from the Dr. Huberman's podcast as well, is this kind of tea meditation. And I really like this because meditating in general is really hard for me, but by combining it with this mindfulness of having a little tea ceremony every day, I think it's easier to implement during my day. And then the fifth thing he talks about is to develop and harness your purpose. And I think this is maybe the most important thing Thing. So purpose is usually not a direct goal, but more an overlying theme in your entire life. So for example, for me, my purpose in general is to become a wise in some manner or to become a Renaissance man slash woman. And that's just to say that I really like learning and I don't only like learning in my own field, but from all topics. And in this manner, usually when I make choices, I think about if it fits this general purpose of learning curiosity and wisdom. And if it does, then I would go that way. And I think it's really good to think about your purpose in general in life. So not your direct goal of, for example, graduating, but what do you want to do with this knowledge? Who do you want to help? What are the next steps you want to take after? So yeah, this was a super short video on peak performance. And I hope you learned a little bit about how to optimize your day and life to get to this peak performance. I would definitely recommend you to check out the book as well. And if you have any tips or tricks for me, I would love to hear them. So put them down in the comments below and otherwise, See you next week. Bye.